you're welcome back and like i already mentioned on brands and fashion today we have loads we always have loads of interesting segments to keep your eyes glued to the show and your screen because you don't want to miss any of the segments and now joining us today we have augusta uloko she's a fashion expert into ready to wear and bespoke, bespoke clothing and she's the creative director of afri unique it's your one-stop shop for fashion fantasies and making fashion fantasies a reality. Augusta, thank you so much. Thank you for having Welcome me. Welcome to Brands and Fashion. Thank you, thank you for having me. Did you make this because I can see Certainly the mix of I did. African twins yes, and yes. denim. It's quite unique. So if you don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind standing up to see how no, it no, looks. You, you uh -huh. at the show. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, because it's, it's, it's really, my work. It's really beautiful. Thank but you very so much. How do you feel having to... I, I know, of course, you feel beautiful and amazing working your design but how do you feel when you look at the mirror i'm like yeah i actually did make this hmm actually before this design came up i slept over it mm. i it's something that came through the dream mixing of fabrics having different because i have so many fabrics mm. lying fellow there so i just thought of how do i bring up something how do i make up something from this mm. i slept one day and i know how to draw yeah 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 i know how to draw so in that dream i actually kind of scrapped something out and when i woke up i went straight to it combining different colors and uh, with a jane because this is a jane yeah yeah with different uh, patches patches because this takes time to come up mm. patches cutting them in different sizes and voila i have this well, i like i like the, thank the you very much in um english and African because denim is English and this is Africa beautiful there. Thank you very much. All right, up next is the trend segment. And on the trend segment today, we will be looking at body con dresses. The body con is back and we are not complaining. So many different trends come and go, and this year we've seen the body con dress creep its way back onto the stage. From slinky fabrications that hug the body perfectly to tailored linen dresses, forming feet in pieces are all the rage and we're here to dish our favorite styles of the season. Bodycon dresses are still popular with divas that have great figures. That means mostly the younger set, women in the 20s and 30s. However, if you are over 40 and look good in a bodycon dress, there's no reason why you shouldn't wear one. If you wear a bodycon dress, be sure it fits correctly, not too tight. Style with heels, flats, ankle booties, or high boots. Top with a jean jacket or blazer. Today's fashion trends are what women wear, not what designers dictate. Bodycon dresses hug the body like bandages or scuba dresses. They are made from fabrics having elasticity like lycra and polyester blends. If you're looking for an off-the-cuff, however, conjointly stylish assemble, then the bodycon is definitely for you. Oh, and Augusta, what do you think of, of bodycon dresses? You know, some persons will have, have different opinions on different things. Some persons say it's too clingy, or that to say, well, it brings out the figure of a lady. So what do you think about this? Person? Actually, personally, mm -hmm. It's nice, but I don't wear it. Oh, why? Do you have a reason? Yes. Okay. Showing of physique is not something that I actually like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But because it's not something you castigate. No, 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 no. It's something that when you, when you put it on, walking on the road, you see people, it's, it's as if you're calling attention. Mm -hmm. And I don't like but attention. I don't like attention. No, 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 no. Is, is, is it because <laughs> of probably, I don't know, you know, some persons way younger than you would say, well, this is my prime. I want to feel this way. Possibly. No, well, others too would say there's no need to, but you don't see that something you would want to rock. But do you think people will rock it? They, some persons rock it beautifully. My daughter do. Oh. Yes, she does. She does. I get it for her. But you say personal thing. Uh, to me, it, I will tell you, is an upbringing. Oh, yes. Okay. Is an upbringing, mm -hmm. but my daughter, I can't bring her up that way because mm -hmm. I wouldn't want her to get to school and start living different life. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So mm -hmm. I buy it for her. I understand. Okay. I buy it for her. <laughs> All right, now let's go over to the celebrity style inspiration. <laughs> Iheme Faith Uloma, known as Ifu Eneda, is a Nigerian film actress, fashion designer, and a former BB Niger housemate. Ifu Eneda is a nutritionist and a beauty boss in hair growth products. 
She began a movie career a few years ago and in 2016 she was nominated for Best Young Promising Actor in the movie Old Town at the AMA Awards. Ifu Eneda hails from Abia State, Nigeria. <laughs> Now, talking about Ifu and Nada, what do you think about her sense, her dress sense, the fact that she now has a particular stylist that styles her for most of the red carpets? And it, Nigerians will see that's a weird kind of styling. What do you think about her kind hmm. of style? Yes, her style is actually well, but... The stylist or the person who is being styled? It is the person that wears it that tells the creator what she wants. Okay. You need to tell me what you want, then I'll be able to bring it out. I can't just give you what you can't be comfortable in. No, 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 no. She wanted something outstanding, something different. Then the creator, the uh, fashion designer needs to go to the drawing table and bring out something. For sure, she must have, he or she must have brought us two or three designs. Then she picked one. I love her sense of... I, I'm telling you, yeah. That's interesting. It's, to you. it's unique. It's unique, right? It's and really so unique. She carries it, you would Her charisma is something else. Exactly, because sometimes we have people who the stylists will spend all days and years having mm. to style and then they carry the clothes on the It's the cloth that makes a man. Yeah. The way you lift up a, uh, a dress mm. makes others admire it. If you wear it slouching and all that, it's, it's, it looks common. But no matter the amount, no matter the fabric, when the wearer wears it and stands upright, mm. it becomes admirable. I think I like you. I like the way you... <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, now let's go over to the brand highlight segment. Welcome back to the Brand Highlight segment. And this is the segment where we will be speaking with the CEO of Afri Unique. You can see what she's putting on, and trust me, it's 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 a blend of I, I like the fact that there's an Africa part of it, bespoke clothing and ready to wear. This is yeah. also ready to wear, so I can walk into the store and buy it like this. So let's yes, certainly. let's firstly talk about ready to wear dresses. Okay. Is it easy to is it an easy peasy for designers or are you or I, I, I very, very, it. very, very, very easy. So that's why you chose to do ready I'm to telling wear this book, or yeah. you want something easy? Yeah, no, see, mm. my ready to wear is in a different uh, segment or different uh, section. Why the bespoke is for people that actually want to get their figure out. Yeah, I was coming to the bespoke. Uh -huh. I always go to ready to wear uh -huh. first, but you know you but have a mixture of both. Yes, of I have both. I have okay. both. It's a selection. Right. Your choice. Mm. So ready to wear is easier to make than bespoke. So but which makes which you make more money from God bespoke? So better to say for a bespoke, um, for instance, I want there's those jumpsuits made for my fitting. I have to pay more than when I'm walking to a store and buying. Bespoke it. is more expensive. Oh, but which sells faster the most? Facebook sells better. Are you yes. I used to think it's easy. Probably, maybe it's just me. I like to walk into a store and I pick a dress. I don't like the stress of having to do measurement, fitting, stay for four days and five days. Ah, uh, no. Oh, let's look at the business. Of no, it. no, no, no. Uh, you made mention of timing now mm -hmm. for these three days and all that, or maybe excuses. That's one thing Afri Unique don't do. Oh. I'm telling you. We keep to timing. I was actually walking somewhere and I saw that problem women were facing of getting to get their clothes. Aha. Uh -huh. They don't know they have an they have an outing. Mm -hmm. You hear that ah my clothes are not ready and my tailor just called and ah. oh god of me. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. So I just look into it that ah no no no. This is a problem that needs to be solved. Yeah. I went on it physically for bespoke, but along the line. It was the order, the request of customers that made me move into that kind of have a ready to wear. Mm -hmm. 